73 centimeters tall from Nakhon Rajasima province, or the city of Nakhon Rajasima. He's had a total of 74 fights, 63 victories, 9 losses, and 2 draws. There you can see the tail of the tape for this one. Pet Pak Mai, 7 years the elder of Tong Chai. But apart from that, both have lots of experience. And the referee in charge for this one is Tawon In Ubon, judge the ringside, Tong Pat Wong Wai, Pukit Pram Prayun, and Bunya On Peng Wuk. Before we start, quickly, everyone in the comments, tell me who you think is going to win this fight. We've got Pet Pak Mai in the black corner and Tong Chai in the white. Quick, 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 let's go. Pet Pak Mai is Team Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Tong Chai is Team Kevin, ladies and gentlemen. These fighters, like I said, you've seen them before, you know them. I think the Thai commentators also have this going on as well. Of course, we know extra points from the south. Other gentleman is from the central part as well. Big low kick there, inside low kick for Tong Chai. What I noticed about Tong Chai's style is that he likes to weaken different parts of his opponent's body before really go, go, going um, at it. Good team to the midsection there for Tong Chai. Of course, the biggest scalp probably of Pet Pak Mai's career so far is the fact that he defeated Yunus Benali at the big Thai fight. Yeah, that was very impressive. Really? Pet Pak Mai, very tricky, very elusive. He has a deceptive look about him as well, doesn't he? He does. If you walk past him in the street, you wouldn't think, wow, that guy looks tough. Yeah, it's a mistake <laughs> no one will ever make, I hope. Whereas Tong Chai looks like a Hollywood superstar. Yeah, most people from the East look like Hollywood ah. superstars. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, you man. Big switch kick there from Tong Chai. He really loves to throw those. Oh! Tong Chai does possess some big power though. Yeah, he does. You can just look at his frame. Tree trunks for legs. Can't say they're as big as Giddy Sucks though. <laughs> oh, one twos coming in. Beautiful. Huge. Right, Tong Chai. Huge one twos there. That's going to score him some yeah. big points. And what we sometimes fail to mention or forget to mention is the fact that Tong Chai was away, away from the ring for such a long time. Only made his comeback last year, of course, where he did reach the uh, Zuzu Cup tournament final. But you can see now he's starting to go through the gears. He's oh, yeah. looking his old self. Very much in his element right now. And let's not forget his father is the owner of Pedro Rung Gym, the gym that he trains out of. Oh, left up there from Pet Pak Mai. So fair to say that Muay Thai has always been in his blood. Very true. I believe Pedro Rung is the second Muay Thai gym that Paddy has ever had. Wow. I believe so. That's an incredible Sit start. Sit being the first. Wow. This is Muay Thai heritage. Absolutely. Big shot to the body there by Pet Pak Mai. You can tell Tong Chai felt the effects of that after that smile. Tell you what, Tong Chai in this round is really in the groove. He's yeah. looking so confident right now. So composed as well. Looking very relaxed. After all, that build up that I gave Pet Pack Mai, he's being tuned up right now by Tong Chai. What a round that was for the man from the East. Stay with us, round two, up next. Let's take a look at some of the action from the first round. It's Tong Chai in the white corner and Pet Pack Mai in the black. And so far, you gotta say it, it's been a Tong Shai round. I love his switch kicks. I love how he put his combinations together so well. And it's... Absolutely, and just like that truck behind us, Tong Shai in cruise control so far. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Tong Chai right now, especially because last year he reached the finals but couldn't get the job done. He just joined us. This is the fourth bout of a scheduled seven bouts. The first week of the new Mizuzu Thailand Championships. 
where we've got six teams from six different regions of Thailand. Three fighters per team in three weight categories. Pet Park Mai now has a different look about him. Looks like he wants to trade blows to Tongshai. I'm not sure that's the best of ideas. Oh, nice left hook there from Pet Park Mai. He wants to try and make this a dirty fight, a gritty fight. I think it's gone too soon there because he's done a good job so far, Pet Park Mai. Tongshai showing now that not only does he have power, but he has that ability to be a bit more elusive as well. And that inside kick has been money because it has marked up the inside left kick of Pet Park Mai. Yeah, it's quite rare to see that. Usually we see the outside of the leg actually lighting up. But the inside of the leg of... Yeah, they can see it. Good camera angle now. Hey, Pat my right now. My goodness, does not look good whatsoever. But it just goes to show how often he practices that lead kick. Whether it's to the body or to the leg. again, Pad Pak Mai is trying everything in his power to get some shots through. But he just cannot find Tong Chai as he spins that time. Yeah, I think the more we've seen Tong Chai compete, the more that ring rust just fades away. He gets better and better each oh, time. That was a good right hand there from Pet Pak Mai, but equally vicious right hand in reply by Tong Chai. But this is what Pet Pak Mai wanted. He wanted to make it more of a slug first. He wanted to get it gritty. You know what they say, be careful what you wish for. Oh, but there is some blood. I'm telling you, it was a big right hand that connected. I don't know where the blood is flowing from. It could be from, from Pet Pai Pai. But there is, if you look at the shots of Tong Chai, there you can see it. Oh my goodness, on the head. Blood just pouring out. Seems to be a harder fight for Tong Chai at the moment. Yeah, and I'm telling you, this is exactly what Pet Pai Pai wanted. He wanted a slugfest, he's getting one right now. So much blood. There I wonder is. if the doctor's gonna have a look at that. Not in a dangerous position though. True. Looks like it might be in within the hairline. I Even believe so. See. I mean it looks like it would have come from an elbow strike, but I can't actually remember an elbow strike that was actually being slung. It was a right hand that a big right hand that Oh good left hook there from Tom Chai. Great timing on that one. Yeah, that's a better camera angle there, you can see it, yeah. Sent to the left knee from Pet Pack Mai, but he gets clipped once again. End of a very bloody round two here on time. Well, it seemed like Pet Pack Mai was overwhelmed in the first round, but the second round, a very different story. He decided to take the fight to Tong Chai and managed to cut Tong Chai as well. I mean, that cut did not look good at all, Aaron. Yeah, I'm looking now on the replays here. We can find out exactly where that cut occurred because it's big and it could be causing big. There it is. I'm assuming. Elbow. Good timing there for Pit Pak Mai. You know what? I'm gonna stick my neck out and say it's 1-1. One, one. I agree. There you can see both these fighters look like they've been in a war. And that's true as we head now into the third and final round. Team there from Pet Pak Mai. Oh, but the lead leg of Pet Pak Mai looks awful at the moment. Look at that redness. Looks like a vein's about to pop or two. <laughs> well, speaking of redness, look at the shots of Tong Chai. And the Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> There, right hand straight to that cut from Pet Pak Mai. Smart tactic, good left kick there in reply from Tong Chai. Oh, big right elbow from Pet Pak Mai. And another elbow right there. Tong Chai trying to take the fight to Pet Pak Mai, but ate an elbow in the corner there. That was a big elbow from Pet Pak Mai. Tell you what, a lesser fighter would have gone down from that. Oh, but Tong Chai, don't think he will go down to that. Interesting how now Pet Pak Mai is happy to take the back foot, it seems. Does he think that he's doing enough to win this fight right now? Quite honestly, so far in this round, I'm going to give Pet Pak Mai the lead. But anything can happen, of course. Still a lot of time left on the clock. See Tong Chai moving forward. Pet Pak Mai. Looking like he was trying to throw another elbow. 
And in case you're wondering how me and Aaron know there's a lot of time left on the clock, is we just listen to the music. <laughs> it's true. Left kick there from Tong Chai to the red arm of Pet Black Mai. Yeah, he didn't throw that much switch kicks in the second round, but it really worked for him in the first. It so did. We'd like to see him throw more of that just so he could set up more techniques. Stiff left jab there from Pet Black Mai. See, all these movements now will count on the judges. The judges will be looking at this. Are they connecting? Are they blocking? Have they made mistakes? And that's why he feels a little bit edgy right now. Oh, left hook by Pet Pak Mai, who takes Tong Chai down. Really love Pet Pak Mai's technical style. His movement, second to none. Oh, once again, a evasive by Pet Pak Mai. Where was this in round number one? I think Tong Chai was trying to evade the kick there, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately caught it on the way down. Good team there for Pet Pak Mai to defend against a switch kick. Nice block again for Pit Mai. Right hand from Tong Chai. Oh, really close, I must say. It really is. Think, Very edgy. I think Pit Mai might be letting himself down by going back a bit too much here. It seems like we're building a rivalry. We're in this regional scene now between Central and East. I mean, we've seen a, a very close fight in our previous battle. And there we go with this one as well. All three rounds in the books. Once again, we're going to take it to the judges' scorecards. Pet Pat Mai and both Songchai raise their hands. They feel they've done enough. Well, their team. Let's see how that one ends up. But in the meantime, let's have a look at the highlights from this one. Very close third round, but there was that big right elbow from Pet Pak Mai that could have taken the round essentially. It was of course the biggest shot by far into that round. I don't even know if Tong Chai is still standing up for that one. Yeah, there's no doubt that was the biggest shot of the round. So Pet Pak Mai did very well in the beginning of that round. He sat <laughs> And the team that won two points, and the winner is White Corner Tongchai from Park Tawan.